hello and welcome back so we are just about to talk to some blue guy in the pool that's all we know about him and I did choose uh, the next level for the characters uh, basically a little bit more lock picking yeah. uh, plus uh, new skill uh, plus mean? a little bit more defense and um, more new buffs for the party we're gonna see it in action I suppose you're greeted by a tall, carefully composed man. The crescent moon in the center is... His forehead glows faintly. Up close, the careful tailoring of his opal-adorned robes and their immaculate cleanliness speak to a deep well of vanity. Welcome, welcome. I am Ganor, owner and proprietor of the Luminous Bathhouse. Really? If there's any way I might make your visit more comfortable, you need only ask. He clasps uh, his hands and bows, a playful smile tugging at the corners of his lips. Do you know a boy named Degnos? Why random? Casita Veta's servant? The irritating one? Yes, he was here attending her just a few days ago. Ganor waves his hand dismissively and rolls his eyes. He tried to sneak into one of my rooms and told me a pathetic sob story when he was caught. I had the guards toss him out on the street. He smiles, well satisfied with himself. I'd like to try your bath? Of course you would. Just speak with a steward near the stairs. He will make certain you are treated well. What do you have for sale? What? That's overpriced as hell, man. Sure thing. Who's willing to pay for this place? A tower warrior? Have you tried the bathing pool? Oh, Kira, its waters allow you to absorb the powers of the dead. I bet. <laughs> You're too morbid, my friend. I hope we haven't spent too much time in the baths. Time's up. <laughs> oh, no, it's fine, I don't work here. I see. My thanks for clearing that up. In any case, we hope you enjoy your time. Your companion subtly tips her hat to shoo you away. What brings you to the bathhouse? <laughs> I am helping Herwina to conceive. Oh. She came all the way from the Deerwood, and I will see that she returns with arms laden with young. How are you helping her in that? After the Holoborn crisis, I wanted no child of mine born in those blighted lands. This place is a miracle. Every day I emerge from the baths as a new woman, and my first child will be as strong as an Adra pillar. She looks to say new no with a bright smile. Okay, I'm just thinking that maybe if your servant was a male, uh, that conceiving part would be going better. I don't think that's a guaranteed result. Is that? True? She blinks at Seinu. Do not listen. Luminous Audra is the life of the Deadfire. It can bring life to you, I say. She rests her palm on Huarvina's shoulder and dismisses you with a look. Ah, oh, come on. This woman is getting taken for a ride. Is this your first time to the baths? What? An old man stretches his arms over his head and yawns, making a show of displaying his moistened physique. Old man... Uh, it's not gonna work. Looks like someone needs a nap. A bed, perhaps. But there will be no sleep for me. He spreads his lips in a knowing grin. I might have the skin and bones of a retired scarecrow. But the waters bring youth back, where it counts. Right. He studies you from under a lower brow as his knees begin to drift apart. Uh, what is that? Orlan or Dwarf? I don't have that. Go on. If only we had a bit of privacy. Maybe in another life, eh? Ewing singing as uh, uh sighing to himself, catching his breath. Damn. 
rare and colorful fish swim from end to end of the water enclosure. Oh, look at that, it's like a little ocean. Oh, we need one of those for our ship. What? An aquarium? A bunch of uh, naked and half naked people uh, standing around in waist high water. Oh. We need more heat, guys. What I wouldn't give for a roasted newt. Can we turn on the heat? I hope Lim brings food down soon. Mmm. Whoa, really? This crack in the wall is perhaps just wide enough to accommodate an anomana squeezing in sideways. The passage seems to widen the deeper it goes. Squeeze through the crack? Hmm. We should be able to make it. We're gonna send in a lot, or seraphin, or whatnot. So does this lead to the sewer? Or what is this? Archmage's Vault? Wait, what? This vault looks recently repaired. Many of the stones are new, and were cut to fit into the older structure around it. It would take an appropriate tool or considerable brawn to overcome the steadfast obstacle. Uh, let's use the hammer and chisel. With time and care, you managed to break through the recent repairs and carve out a serviceable entrance. As the last of the loosened stones tumbles free, you catch the silver glint of a wire snapping. Somewhere in the manor, a mixture of bells and horns sound a discordant alarm, which fades over, the, over time and is replaced by the sound of high-pitched cackling growing closer. Boy. Okay, we have lovely ups again. Uh, weapons. Okay, it's other. Okay, we have a... Uh, you can light the way now. Do I need stealth? Do we need stealth? I don't know. I really don't know. Some bluffing, religion... Inside is fine. Bluff. Streetwise. Let's go for a little bit of bluff. Latex. I don't care that much. Sleight of hand. Let's go for stealth. Hmm. More focus and starting focus. I suppose that's not bad. Plus armor for yourself. The cipher probes the mind and soul of the enemy target, finding the strength of its defenses, stealing them for their own, draining a portion of target's armor, rating, grading them. Okay. Okay. Pain block. Plus 5 con and armor rating and 10 health restored per 3 seconds. Okay, that's that's really good. Okay, what else we got? Tier 1 Affliction? Tier 1 Inspiration Self? I don't really know. If that's what I want. Stunning people. Maybe we're gonna just combine it. I start with more focus, have more maximum focus, and pain attunement should be uh, fine. Alright, a lot. 
What about you? Yeah. We can go for like a little bit of intimidation. I don't know. So, do I choose for both? Yeah. Both classes. Choosing abilities for them. Crippling Strike, only one Guile. Affected enemies will now also bleed when moving, taking raw damage with each step. That's interesting. Distract the target. Perception and Flanked. Uh... That's interesting. We also got Gouging Strike. Raw damage over time until combat ends. That's interesting. While blinded all attacks on the, on the target add the stacking penalty deflection. Very interesting. Wait, what? Oh, that's not it. Strike the bell. Do I even use crippling strike? Or do I want to use blinding strike? Maybe use gouging strike. Okay, what am I gonna pick up here? I have no idea. Seriously. Armor rating. Sick and terrified. Something that I should be able to use a lot of the time. So something like that. However, uh, the sneak attack. With weapons against only weapons. So if I can go for some kind of disable to set up flanked, sick and terrified. How long it lasts? 15 seconds. Full. Less con and less healing received. Less resolve and power levels. Okay, not so bad. Maybe we're gonna go with Green Grim Repulsive Visage. That's not too bad. It's like a disable. What is this? Plus deflection reflects and incoming hits converted graces. Let's do Ring Grim's Repulsive Image. All right. Uh, that's the plan, I guess. Ahoy. Let's pick that up and uh, pick up maybe Ring Rim's repulsive image. How may I help? Fine. Now, do we want to go in the basement of Archimir's Manor? Locate Archimedes Vault. <clears throat> this device is a complex control panel made of gems set in movable stone impressions. Four colorful gemstones are positioned around the hole in the center. Something appears to be missing, though an expert tinkerer might be able to compensate for it. Co tinker! Wait. F-Song? Choosing a party member? 
We're too far away. She seems like a good candidate. Fiddling with the panel yields no results. Watch your size and aims a determined glare at the panel. It's not gonna work. I don't know. I feel like we might need to... Uh oh. What? Okay. Okay, not the best. Let me don't let the bounding missiles. You can just do a fireball. Should be good now. No? Oh, it's really hard to aim it. That's not very helpful. Yes. This is futile. Iron clad construct. No penetration. Jeez. Let's do a heal over time with the entire party. Maybe do a holy radiance. It's bumper encounter. Let me just kill the stone black in the back. Wow, we're getting hit. No mercy. Me too. What do you need? Can we do anything with this guy? Oh, what? It's friendly now. Out of abilities. Why do you try to charm it? Don't do that. This thing isn't doing the job. Do you have anything else? Paralyze it. What's the chance to paralyze? Actually, pretty high. No penetration. What kind of armor he has? It has. Really high. This is futile. Let's go. stronger. Can I use what, something that actually penetrates this guy? <laughs> Come on, stop charming it. Jesus. Yes? If you insist. I need to update the condition. If there's only one guy left, don't charm it. Yeah? Aye, aye. Yeah? I think it even heals. Should I do that? Open behavior editor. Cautious. Actually, I can't. Can't modify cautious. Cautious clone. Edit condition. Okay, how do we do this? Target. Is there a condition like that? 
There are a lot of conditions here. But can we find anything? Not always true. Yeah, this doesn't really help me. Seriously? They didn't think of that? I... I don't believe it. Isn't that like a condition? Uh, for AoE? Enemies in melee range. Bigger than zero. Not. Oh yeah. Greatest... Oh, oh I know. Lowest wheel. That's good. Most deflections. Huh. I don't know. I don't think... It's possible. At least it doesn't look like it. That's not very helpful. Not even close. Yes? Let's go. Me too, man. Damn the lads, Yeah. That was about as useful as a bump on a pickle. I've been leaving it to the That's me too, man. Okay, here for the entire party. What can I do you for? Yeah, I'll just go for the heal over time. No penetration. It's actually insanely uh, resistant to slash, pierce. Not so much to crush. It's weak to lightning. Let's go. That's not very helpful. Hmm. <laughs> what? Ella, how did you die? I need something stronger. Now? If you insist. Unbelievable. Yes, I shall. No mercy. Let's go. Okay. Your no ally is the tank. I think she has a probably good weapon to use. Let's go. A pretty low chance to hit. Or I'm pretty sure that the other weapon has a little chance to hit as well. Let's go. 25, it's even lower. This is futile, savvy. Uh oh. Yeah. Can you just go away? Oh, don't don't trigger anything funny. It's not very uh -huh. How did he die? After him. Just do a heal. And take out this construct, please. The, f the hell was that? Why not? That was a ridiculously long fight. Can I rest here? I apparently I can. Okay, we can rest here. It just really goes to show that, wow, you can run into some incredibly resistant guys. And uh, having a, like a weapon that does a lot of damage is pretty good. Sure. Can only be unlocked with the proper key. Let's go. 
This is futile. Uh oh, that looks dangerous. Maybe just switch no doubts for the melee bomb. What? That's pretty bad. Can we just focus on the ones that we can kill? Take out the imps first. Don't do that. Don't use it. To replace that, perhaps buff, buff the entire team. This seems like a, such an amazing buff. Devotions of the faithful, amazing. So, is there a way to reduce someone's armor? Blessed harvest. That's insane amount of slash damage. Level one. Wait, what? It didn't work? Oh. Maybe it only works if they are blooded or near death. At least it works better. Let's go. Need something stronger. You can just run away. Oh, this is only close range. Damn. Wait, apparently removes armor. If you can make that happen, that would be nice. Yeah, he's getting hit. What are you doing? Let's go. Oh my god. Ella, this is embarrassing. Did he resist it? Let's go. Cannot whack him any harder. You mean to put to poison and disease. Okay, we perhaps need to come back with better weapons. Can I scare him? Distracted. Let's scare him. That was very insightful, apparently. But nothing I have would really help here. Minuletus conclusive missiles. Chill fog would be pretty much useless against his armor. He's immune to fire. Don't really know about his frost defense. Also, a chance to hit is pathetically low. So, that really wouldn't work out so well. 
I like buffs quite a bit. What? They always hit. What can I do you for? Sure thing. What? They're on our asses now. <laughs> Devotions for the faithful. Something else. It's so good. This Let's go for the uh, heal over time. Is that good? 9.9 9 health, restored per 3 seconds. Yeah, that's good. This is futile. This is futile. Oh, fuck. Need something stronger. He only engaged uh, at there. Yeah. Need something stronger. No penetration. That's really disturbing. I don't think we can change the loadout in combat. This is futile. Yeah, that no penetration is uh troublesome. Let's go. Chance to hit is so damn low. After him. Bringing down its defense. And bringing up our uh -huh. damage would be so good. If she hits, then we actually do some damage. Damn. This is hitting the right guy. So reducing deflection and reducing armor uh, is definitely something we want to care about. Oh boy, that's that's bad. no good to me. I hear you. Something else. What? How did it not hit? Come on, do the heals. Iconic projection is good too. Well, at least uh, I can tank. I can tank, but I need more <laughs> penetration, maybe more accuracy. It just really goes to show that we should come back here later, or else it's gonna take at least forever. Let's go. Should I probably should just. Spread out a little bit. Okay. Yeah, there should be fine. Uh oh. Yeah. He's done. Great! Living Steel, Garnet... What? No! How do you run away from a fight? Uh -huh. Can you? You can? Please let us go!
can't enter stealth mode in combat. What? Let's go! You can't venture forth while in combat? What can I do? Oh. I guess we gotta take out this guy before we go. I wonder how it works if you actually... If you use a torch in your offhand, but you never intend to uh, hit with it. Oh, he's down. Oh, come on. What do you need? Good thinking. Yes. All right. Combat still. Is it over? It's over because we charmed it. Uh, well done, Seraphin. You really done it. Okay, let's not go to his house, Archimir's house. It's probably best left for later. Can we rest in the bathhouse? I don't think so. Uh, where's the rest? No, rest to wait. I can only wait. Alright. Let's go to the upper floor, check out this place. Wow, lower floor? What the hell? But it's uh, it was a good uh, experience because I do know that at there definitely can tank, but we need to get ready to disable guys more. Uh, what are you doing? Get out! Did I find it? Hmm. That's it. There's nothing really here. Uh, we can just uh, talk to the guy like, Hey, what's up? We found your satchel. Your satchel? Does it have money in it? Can we at least buy time? Open it. Aveta seal, suspicious letter. It's all arranged. So long as your captain sticks to your route, our ship will meet. Yours at the sea, three days hence. Don't forget to dump your powder before we arrive. Every cannonball that strikes our hull will be one last limb we leave you with, understand? And uh, be sure to wear a red bandana so we don't kill you by accident. If, if all goes as planned, a spot on our ship and a fair share of the plunder will be yours, as promised. Just a regular dagger. Alright. Time to confront him. What? Do I need to go Can back to the bathhouse? Leave it to me. Please, no. Uh-huh. Okay, we need to go back to the bathhouse, and there's nothing over here. So we need to go back, go down, talk to... Huh. I'm not sure how to proceed with this new information. Hmm. Does he have stuff? Because we can just uh, say to him, like, give us your stuff. Maybe his captain will be m more curious about this letter. Perhaps he will want to suicide. Dagros, are you here? Wasn't he here? Wait a second. 
I found Dagnos outside the Luminous Bathhouse. Return Dagnos Satchel to him at the Paddler's Canal in Queen Burst. Alright. He's there. I guess we can go there. Actually, I wouldn't really mind. Just uh, picking up the druid, see what he can do. Maybe kick uh, one of the companions while we are at it. Not that I don't like the companions, I really like them. That's usually how it goes. Uh, Valera, the Wild Mare. Let's go to the Wild Mare. Okay, we're just gonna go to the Wild Mare. A group of Principi sailors approach you in streets. Whoa, really? That's amazing! Hey guys! Wait, is this about me wiping out one family? Because... Um... Oh, probably should just zip it. Maybe they just say like, hey, what's up, man? We love you. Uh-oh. Tell her a moment. <laughs> Unmarried woman? Ooh! At all, Vyri man blocks your path. He wears a sly smile as one might uh, wear their most comfortable trousers. I saw you speak to my dear amico Degnos. So I thought to myself, why, Talfor, you must meet her too. Arrayed about him are a small group of kit, well armed and armored. Punch the st punch Talfor. Hmm. Your errand boy lost his satchel, I'm returning it to him. So, okay, we're gonna punch him. Talfo reels back with a strangled cry, a palm pressed to his eye. He draws his weapon and his companions do the same. Seraph and eyes close as he nods along. So the nibbles on her, her lips to hide the spreading smile. This is not the best. Devotions of the Faithful. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm doing the heal. If I can do a holy radiance, that would be nice. Consecrated ground is good too. Okay, Principe Pistolier is with us now. Maybe he can escape? Probably not. Nope, a lot is down. Get out is down again. That's unfortunate. Okay, at least some people are dying now. Can I just blow them up? Maybe you should change weapons. Uh, and sp hold your ground. Hold your ground. Okay, the pistol is with us now. Does it really matter that I confuse one guy? Confused, but still gonna hit me. Damn. Very concentration. Okay, they're dead. Oh boy. Oh, they have come some good stuff. Fine. Reflex. 
Meh. Oh, we really stripped her. We are not leaving a damn thing on the ground. Fine rod, sure thing. Imagine the PIs later. Bunch of naked people attack somebody. Or we, I don't know, but they don't know. Just they're just gonna find a bunch of naked people on the streets. Mass suicide, obviously. Uh, I guess we gotta go to the Vault Merit like uh, we planned. And I need to prepare against those golems. Perhaps not uh, the tippy top priority right now, but I think it's gonna be quite relevant. Uh, very soon. Maybe in like one or two levels we have to deal with them somehow. And uh, we are quite far away from actually dealing with them. Oh, we are in the bar? Oh, never mind. Anyway, thanks for watching guys and see you next time.